One of the busketeers got in touch and he said to me, he said, John, I don't know where the idea for food busking came from or why you cook the food you cook. And I know that I've had that question from a lot of you. So when Honda got in touch about the new Honda Civic and asked me to share my story, I thought I'd tell you guys all about my where and why. Uh, so we're just heading out of London. We're going down to the South Downs forest. I'm going to go foraging for some mushrooms. Most chefs want to open their own place. And uh, you always think, well, I can do it. I want to do it my way. And four years in, I was just like, I wasn't happy. I was stressed. I just couldn't make it work. I'll never forget that moment, that at sort of 10.30 at night on a Sunday, where it dawned on me that I had to make a radical move. And so literally a month later, I closed the restaurant to cook on the streets. Rather than charging people a set price for the food that I was cooking, I was gonna say to them, you pay me what you think the food is worth, and I'll call it food busking. Jack and I are going foraging for some mushrooms so I can cook one of my favorite dishes from my restaurant days. Hey, Melissa. Hey, how are you? Good, hello, gorgeous. Hello, hello. Hey. Nice to see you. Good to see you. He's a beauty. So where are you thinking uh, that the mushrooms will be today? Oh, anywhere in this woodland. Yeah. Go and hunt them out, as we okay. always do. So we're, we're in uh, the South Downs in South England, and uh, we're here with Melissa and her two beautiful dogs, and we're searching for... Um, for mushrooms basically and if we get lucky really lucky we might get a truffle but the conditions aren't perfect so yeah and so melissa from from, from our last trip i seem to remember that this was a particular good potential area exactly when you see it like burnt out yes the French call mushrooms on toast with a hen egg oh it's my go-to feel good dish you got it is that a truffle so melissa what variety are these these are hedgehog mushrooms that's amazing. But they're really good. In terms of what we're looking for, a good mushroom, I guess it is, it's all about timing. This is beautiful. It's not, it's not wet. It's quite dry to the touch. It's nice and meaty. It's actually perfect. You couldn't get it more ideal than that. It's really like all those things you said, you know, it's not been eaten by any insects. It's just the perfect moisture. Yeah. It's a dense, fresh mushroom that's just popped up in the last day. Mushrooms. It's an aniseed funnel and they smell so strongly of aniseed. The whole dish that you cook with it just tastes Really? Well. You have to use it sparingly. Oh, and wow. They're not rare, no. <laughs> so amazing. <laughs> I know. See what you mean about yeah. the aniseed? It's like an aniseed ball, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> That's wicked. That is wicked. I can't wait to cook that. We've had an incredible day's foraging this morning. We've got some black trompettes, we've got some girolles, we've got those hedgehogs, and then most importantly for me, because I've never seen this guy before, a turquoise aniseed mushroom. Aniseed funnel. Aniseed funnel. Mm -hmm. Like I literally can't wait to cook with them. So <laughs> come on. Yeah, let's go and do it. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is toasted sourdough that we got from London and then forest mushrooms on toast with a hen dig. It's super simple, absolutely delicious. So, first up, we need to slice our sourdough. So we've just put a little bit of rapeseed oil onto the pan, now we're going to toast the bread. So now what we need is some garlic, and so we're just going to get two bulbs out, and then I'm just going to bash them. What that does is it means that I can get them out of their skin, but it also means they're slightly pulverized, so they give out their oil. And then what that means is, is that I can then rub them on the toasted sourdough. And that imparts a beautiful garlicky taste that's gonna work so well with the mushrooms. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to prepare the mushrooms, just gonna make sure that any woody stalks are cut off, to make sure that they've been cleaned of any dirt or any leaves. And then I'm gonna turn the pan up to a medium high heat. 
and we'll start sauteing them in some butter and some oil. And what you can do is you can slice them with your knife, you can tear them with your hands, but what you're looking to do is get them all pretty much the same sort of size so they all cook at the same time. And then I'm just gonna get some rosemary off the stalk, chop that up and throw it through the mushrooms. Because there's so much moisture content in mushrooms, is the ones underneath, they steam. They don't reduce and caramelize in the pan. So you want to see the bottom of the pan when you're cooking mushrooms. You want that sparseness. That way you reduce all the moisture and you get caramelized mushrooms. Always get free range eggs. These are Burford Browns, so they've got so much flavor and the yolks are super yellow. Smells amazing. Nice one, Chef. I can't wait to see what that aniseed mushroom yeah. does to things. It looks amazing. I'm sure it's going to taste amazing. I love cooking the food I do because it brings people together. Oh, those girols are just so good. So now you know where food busking comes from and why I cook the food that I cook. You know, I'm really glad that I followed my own path. I didn't know where it was gonna lead, but I'm really happy where I ended up. Increase the peace.